Hello boys and girls, welcome to Benchar, time for classic and welcome to Helen Wake Remastered, a game developed by Remedy that uh, its remastered were kind of conceived with help of the P3T team. So this game is still using the same engine as Alan Wake and not the control engine, just like some rumors were saying it. And the performance on the GTX 1650 Super, it is quite good, but I do recommend you to stick it up with the median presets and 1080p as it provides an experience mostly above 60. So let's jump to the results. So with my tests on the Provox scene of the game, 1080p median settings did provide an experience above 60 frames per second with a small blip here and there below of 60. 1080p high settings provides an experience above 50. If you go with 1440p, both these two settings provides an experience above 30 with 1440p high settings being the minimums of 32 and 1440p median settings providing an experience above 39. So again, keep in mind that this was on the prologue, it is to be expected that some of the scenes uh, inside more forward levels inside the game will be more demanding, some others less. So that's why I decided to keep it up with uh, 1080p median settings because despite it provides an experience above 60, even on the first level, there is some moments where the game does drop below 60 to 50 somethings, but it's still very playable. The recommended requirements for this game, these guys recommend a GTX 1060. Keep in mind that the 1650 Super it is slightly faster than the 1060, but it's nothing really that uh, that faster. So my recommended settings for the the GTX 1060 it is also to go with uh, median settings. So. Now that I've talked about the performance, you are free to take any decision that you want. For me, 1080p median settings it is the way to go because it's where the, what it performs best and also the comparison in quality between median settings and high settings is actually very small. There is barely any difference. I'm pretty sure there are more sensible people than me to this. I've been losing that sensibility over time in these later years. But uh, for s more demanding people with the visuals, uh, probably they will notice the difference between median and I. For me, differences were very small, and so that's why I do recommend you to go with median, none of the less. Now the question is, what is new on these remasters after 10 years? Basically, the game now supports out-of-the-box 4K 60 frames per second on the selected platforms, so probably they are talking about consoles in here, Refined cinematics with improved animations. Yes, the pre-rendered cutscenes got a revamp. Alan Wake now have kind of a different face. Some people do enjoy it, some people don't. I'm kind of in the middle, so I played Alan Wake more than one time in the past and looking to a different uh, face, it's hard to, you know, to go by. But one thing for sure, one of the great improvements that I saw on Alan Wake Remastered, it is really the texture quality of everything and also incre increasing, uh, the increase I mean in level of, of detail. Also volumetric lightning seems to be better, I'm not sure if it is better or worse but it is different and it, it seems to be less demanding, alright. Also, these remastered include both the story expansions, the signal and the writer. I am... I am I'm just stupid because I finished Alan Wake multiple times but I never played the DLCs and I just got to that conclusion now when I was doing this video so I'm such a shit! And there is also a new commentary track uh, from Alan Wake writer and director Sam Lake if you want to, to hear while, while you play. So basically that's all that it is new, unfortunately for now it is an Epic Store exclusive and it should cost you about 29.99, so 30 euros for this excellent game which contains all the DLCs, uh, much better textures and level of detail and revamped cutscenes and well, a new How and Wake face, alright? So I think that's all that I want to talk about Alan Wake Remastered, hope you keep enjoying the rest of the gameplay and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye.
never fired a gun outside a shooting range, and now I just killed someone, or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. Eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. It's rabbit season! I saw the river below. Something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. <laughs> 